Hello, it's Leifa. How are you? Now, in this video, I want to share with you my current wash day routine. It is intense, and I would say if you're going to do a wash day like this, you need to think of it as a pampering day. Time for you to get reconnected with your hair strands. You may want to line up your favorite YouTubers so you can watch them back to back. You know, you might as well watch me while you're washing your hair. Your favorite podcast and put it on play. I listen to some music, watch your favorite Netflix series and just enjoy the process okay so this wash day consists of four stages i already told you that this wash day is intense i start with a pre-wash going in with this great tea blend from root to end you can find this recipe in the cards or in the description box i have done a video on it this tea blend it helps to reduce shedding which you know i'm all about right now and it helps to lift the dirt from your hair and make sure that i'm thorough by going in medium to small sections it really does depend on the density of your own hair ideally once you've spritzed the tea you would then go in with your oil mix or an oil of your choice but for some reason i didn't do that don't ask me why when i finish each section i move on to the neck now as as you can see when I've completed the whole hair spritzing it with tea I then go in with my oil I have a whole tub of coconut oil I don't know where that is like it has just gathered legs and disappeared I, have, I, like, I could have just made a little oil mix but your girl is running out of time so I might just stick to your good old argan oil because ideally I would have liked to use coconut oil but I don't have any for some reason as I said just start one section at a time and just saturate the hair in oil. In the meantime, I'm just gonna reach those ends. I'm going in in relatively small sections so that I can really be as thorough as I need. At this point, you can use any oil of your choice or create your own oil mix. It really does depend on you and work. The oil is great because it helps with the detangling. Ideally, you would go in with your tea one section and then your oil, but obviously, as you can see, I covered my whole hair with the tea rinse and then repeated the same thing but this time using the oil it really doesn't matter which way you do it either way it's still a long thing <laughs> but remember as i did say we need to look at this as a pampering day once i'm done i cover my hair with a shower cap or a plastic bag it really does depend on what i have to hand on the day now i let this oil and tea sit on my hair for at least 30 minutes Think of it as if you're cooking chicken. You really want it to be well seasoned. Whenever you do a tea rinse, it's really great to go in with an oil because although teas can strengthen the hair and reduce breakage, it can also be very drying. And for that reason, you need to balance it with an oil. Oops, but my time's up. Before I knew it, I realized that I had booked in a spin class at the gym. At this point, you have to be unapologetically black. People are going to look at you with a question in their eyes. Why do you have a plastic bag on your head? Is what their eyes and their awkward smile is saying. And unless you're going to open your mouth and actually ask me, I'm not going to tell you. I'm a woman with things to do and places to be and in between all of that, my hair still needs to get done. The bag on my head is not troubling you. So therefore, let me get on with my spin class and mind your business. When I'm done from the gym, I hop into the shower. I use warm water as it helps to open up the cuticles and it feels great on my scalp. Almost like a really good scalp massage. I then use my clay mix to cleanse my hair. I'm currently using a Rasul clay and I absolutely love it. You will find the recipe in the cards or in the description box. I do already have a video on the whole mix, what I did, what I added, the benefits of it, the whole shebang. So check that out. I work it into my scalp and let it cover all my hair strands by going in section by section. This really does remove build up, it's incredible. For best results, apply the clay to already wet hair. This will help make detangling a lot easier.
once completed, I rinse it out. When I'm done, my hair is so clean and shiny and my coils are so defined, it's unbelievable. My hair feels absolutely great. Finally, I go in with an apple cider vinegar rinse. I mix the apple cider vinegar with cold water. This helps to close my cuticles and the apple cider vinegar helps to bring my hair back to the correct pH balance. I let this sit in my hair for a few minutes before I rinse it out. Yes, I know I did say at the beginning of the video, this wash day routine is very thorough and it's not something that you would do every week. And for me, it's not even something I would do once a fortnight, possibly once a month or once every two months, depending on my schedule. Make sure that everything is completely rinsed out. I dry my hair on a cotton t-shirt rather than a towel because a towel can snag on my coils and also break my hair so I'm trying to stop all of that. I then end this routine by moisturising and styling. I'm currently using the products from the Fuller Care line. I'm using their moisturizing lotion, which I think is absolutely great. And also their whipped butter to seal everything in. At the end, I end up blow drying my hair on cool air because sometimes I just prefer it that way. My hair takes far too long to dry naturally or to air dry. I'd be waiting two days and my hair's still wet. I ain't got time for that. And when drying my hair, I like to use the tension method. It's just easier for me. <laughs> Done, I put my hair into these big chunky twists. Look how clean and shiny my hair is. And the next day, I let the twists out and it's sort of like a loose twist out, as you can see. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and, um, Comment below if you have any questions, if you want to share, share with your uncle, your cousin, your auntie. If you've made it to the end and you haven't subscribed, you're rude. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. You're rude. How are you going to just sit by, watch the whole video, see me not looking so great, watch me in the shower and you're not even going to subscribe, watch me do my hair and you're not going to... You better hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until my next video, think smart, work hard, make it happen. Bye. Oh, I am loving this hair today. This hair is giving me life. <laughs>